Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for December 1st. So this isn't for everybody. It's for somebody, but I don't know who, all right? I need to mention, uh, in yesterday's daily vibe, we the first card we had was the moon, and then we had the seven of swords reversed, and then the tower. Remember, I illuminated that tower very well. The first two cards, I said it could happen today or it could happen in seven days. And it came to me several times throughout the day today that seven days is at the new moon. Okay, the moon was first, then seven days. That's the new moon. So whatever is happening could come to a collapse or a climax now, anytime between now and the new moon, okay? So I just wanted to just fill you in with that because the timing's always fluid, but I did mention seven days a couple times. So seven days puts us right at the new moon, and that makes sense as to why the the moon was right there. So I've cut this deck. We're going to use the vice versa deck. I've cut the deck like I always do before I use this deck because I always want to get us like a starting energy. And we got the hanged man. So the hanged man is somebody that is stuck, obviously stuck. Going through a period of retreat, probably isolating themselves. Somebody is isolating themselves because, you know, they need to make a change, but they're unsure of which change is the best option, you know. So somebody is gaining a new perspective through solitude. Um, going back and forth quite a bit, I'm sure, and really not sure what to do. And, you know, knowing that it's going to be a struggle to step down. It's going to be a struggle to face any change at all. It's going to be a struggle. So we have somebody here that is facing a struggle, but not really wanting to. So staying stuck, okay? Staying stuck because it's the easiest thing to do. It's easy to just hang around and stay where you can just think about it and not take any action it's easier it is it's a lot easier so we have somebody here that's taking the you know it's kind of like the easier route because you could step down and take action at any time but somebody is refusing to face the struggle that leads to change December 1st. What do we have for December 1st? Oh, somebody's trapped in their thoughts, right? Thinking about which way to go. There's an opportunity to go in a new direction. There's an opportunity to cut yourself free if you want. And this really falls right in line with that hangman. That hangman is hanging. He can be cut down and she can be cut free. She can cut herself free, but she's choosing not to. So somebody is um, mentally conflicted about where they want to go and that's a strong strong message from the first two cards she has the power that's the ace of swords right there she has the power she's just not using it so we have somebody that's not using their power they're not finding their ability to probably be honest with themselves because this is the sword of truth they're no, they don't want to tell the truth or something like that Keeping it close. Keeping what they know close to them instead of expressing themselves. I'll zoom this in after.
somebody is being led to do something. This is a spirit, right? It's a star card. It's like the spirits are trying to lead you in a new direction towards wish, wish fulfillment. They're talking to you. And you have an opportunity, but you have to take, you have to use your power. You have to use your power. They can talk to you until forever, and you may not listen. It's up to you. Here we have somebody that is wanting happiness, right? Wanting to go back to where they were once really, really happy. Where, they, where the commitment was beautiful, right? They were so happy together. Somebody's wanting to go back to that happiness. But unable to communicate, okay? Unable to communicate. So, if you see what's mirroring each other... And these are both eights. The time is now to communicate. This is, this is communication. But somebody, and this is the sort of communication, right? Communicating the truth. So somebody is needing to communicate right now, right now. They're being urged to from spirit, from heaven, from God, from whoever, universe. They're being urged to communicate. They've heard, they've heard their prayers, and they're here, and they're saying, we're here. They're telling you what to do, but in regards to your wish fulfillment, I mean, these are both wish fulfillment cards. So it's like, somebody from above is trying to guide somebody towards their wish fulfillment, but this person can't communicate. This person is keeping themselves mentally trapped. They're refusing to use their power. They're refusing to move in that direction. There's an opportunity to, to find the happiness that you wish for. But somebody is going to have to communicate and take action right now. This is swift, fast action. So somebody may be coming close to making a call they're being divinely guided to do so because they can't forget how happy it was oh my god what the hell is this They've been committed before because the commitment has already happened. That's their certificate in their hand, right? It's like they've already been committed, married, engaged, whatever. They've already got their certificate. So they've already been married or they've already been committed. And this is the card of commitment. It's already happened. Here it's about to happen, you know. Here it's happened. Night is falling. It's already happened. The party has already happened, you know. Now they're going to go, now they have an opportunity to go on their honeymoon. But somebody is not communicating. Oh, God damn it. Oh, 
wonderful. Well, that's a problem. Always knew it was. It looks like the universe or spirits are trying to bring two people together. I mean, this is togetherness. They want these people to work as a team. But somebody needs to find strength to face their demons. And their demons are driven by ego. This is ego. The devil is ego and this is ego. So we have some pride that is in the way of wish fulfillment. It makes me sick. It really does make me sick. Somebody, you know, is too proud to help, too proud to apologize, too proud to offer any support from this person who is right here on their knees begging for attention. But this person is like, I don't care. My pride says, you deserve it. And now somebody's being left out in the cold. It looks like now this man has become... The one that's left out in the cold. Because the, the this woman who was brought to her knees, and this can go vice versa, is doing quite well on her own. Abundant, successful, stable, happy, glowing, beautiful, content. At ease. Her storm is over. She's looking good and she's feeling good. And this man is feeling left out and he's all been battered and bruised. Because that's how karma works, right? That is exactly how karma works. I mean, he looks like shit. This man that brought this person down, or this person, you know, whatever, now looks like complete shit for what he has done. It looks to me as though now there's an opportunity for a change in direction If somebody could deal with their pride and face their demons. So it looks like somebody is receiving some sort of divine guidance with this. There's divine guidance here with that star card. Guidance from above. To communicate. This is a card of communication. They're being told to communicate. But they need to step out of their pride and their ego. Um, communicate their pride and their ego to do so. They've got somebody here who has gained a lot of strength. She's gained a lot of wisdom. She's, she's healed. She's done a lot of inner work. This is the Empress, right? She's gained strength. This is the Empress. She's got her power back. She's looking good. Like I said, she's feeling good. She's, done, she's doing great. She's faced her demons. She's dealt with the devil. <laughs> she absolutely has. She's dealt with the devil. She's not afraid anymore. She's not afraid. And now there's an opportunity to come together, work together, 
but communication has to come this is communication has to come through somebody may have to make some uh com compromises to have the wish fulfillment that they know so well At one time, this partnership was so happy. But somebody's ego got the best of them. And they forgot what this woman was worth. And it looks as though now they have been left out in the cold. And they are starting to appreciate how abundant that really was. This damn thing is getting in the way. Um, I want to put it right there. I'm gonna put it over here. I don't. I don't want to. There we go. So yeah, we have some. We have somebody here that is stuck. They want to communicate. The universe, or a or a spirit guide, or somebody that has passed away, or somebody is trying to help them. They're talking to them, they're nudging them, they're speaking to them, telling them to go after what you want, go after what you want, follow your heart, go after you what you want, and they're not listening. It's like going in one ear and out the other. But whoever this person is that's listening can't stop thinking about it. It's causing them a lot of mental conflict because they want to. They want to communicate. They know that their wish fulfillment lies in this commitment right here that once was. I don't know who this reading is for. There's change. Okay, fives are about change. You, that's what's happened. The tides have turned. Whoever the person was with the big ego, the shoe is now on the other foot. Absolutely. And now this person wants that wish fulfillment he had or she had with this, with who they were committed to in the past. That's what I see. That's what this is. This is somebody in the past. The woman, or the, it looks like it's the woman, I don't know. Somebody is an independent and loving it. I'm good. I've got everything I need. And they're moving in a new direction very fast. The next card is the Ten of Pentacles. Even more abundance. And it's happening fast. And things have been happening fast. This woman has risen back up from the ground quickly. And it looks like this man is now, he's now on the bottom. So whoever, I mean, this could go vice versa. It could. So... Somebody is needing to find their strength to do something right now. This is an 888. Right now. Find your power right now. Do it now. Eights are now. You have the power to change this direction with communication right now. 
but there's some power struggles because of ego. So yeah, there's an opportunity for wish fulfillment and commitment. If somebody could step out of their pride and communicate how they truly, truly, truly feel. That's the Ace of Swords and that she has. Somebody, you know, has to communicate their true feelings. And they're being guided to do so, but they're not doing it. Because of pride and ego. And because they're not doing it, and the universe or their guides or whatever are telling them to, they're, they're looking like shit, they're feeling like shit, and they're going downhill fast. When you don't listen, when you don't follow your heart, when you don't act with integrity, when you let the devil, which is ego, drive, you get sick. And this person isn't doing well. So yeah, I feel like today is a day where somebody is being guided to communicate, but can't find the strength to do so. Yeah, they're watching, they're observing, they're angry, they're upset. They're scared of being rejected. They're right now, they're just trying to protect themselves. And they don't, they don't want to get hurt. So they got their guard up. It's like, oh, this guy is upset. He's afraid of being rejected. He's afraid of conflict. And that's why he's coming in with a bang. Okay? He's just like ready to rumble. See the look on his face? He's like, I'm coming in to communicate because that's the sort of communication, but defensively. That's not the way to handle it. Just saying. He wants another chance. We have somebody that wants another chance, and she's like, huh, what? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I don't even know you. I don't even know who you are. Who are you? Can you tell me who you are? And he's like, you know who I am. I'm your savior. I come to rescue you. She's like, are you kidding me? You left me to fend for myself. You left me to fend for myself. I'm quite doing quite well, thank you very much. I'm not sure if I ever zoomed this in. I didn't, did I? Let's try that. Yeah, she's like, you know, I'm doing great. I'm doing fine. I am. I'm doing absolutely fine. He's like, can I just, can you give me a chance? Can we talk about this? Or, you know, can we talk about this? And she's like, right from there, you stay right there and tell me what you got to say. You don't want to see what I got in here. And I'm not sure if I want to let you come in here. I'm not sure if I even trust you for a second. He's like, I've been wounded. I've been wounded. Can you, can you help me? She's like, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know. She's like, ah, uh, well, like I said, you left me to fend for myself. Where have you been? 
Why did you do that? Why would I let you inside now? Why should I? This door has already been closed. If you come in, you could be attacked. Left for dead. So yeah, we have somebody here that that wants another chance. They want another chance. And they're probably going to come back with some apology about how they fought some massive battle to get to you. They had some things they need to do and they, they fought some storm, you know, and now they're here to protect you. And she's like, you know what, I know how to protect myself. I made it. I'm alive. Yeah, I'm a little battered too and my clothes are ripped or whatever and I'm a little dirty, but I'm good. So start talking. Tell me what you have to offer. <sighs> so yeah, there's an opportunity for a reconnection here. But this woman, and it looks like it's the female, could be the male, but I think it's the female, is like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I trust you. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You left me for dead on Survivor Island. And now you're here to rescue me? And get that look off your face, too. This person has put in a lot of work as well. They've worked really, really hard to make changes in their life. But burying yourself in everything but love is not going to bring you the, the true success. Somebody has really buried themselves. And now somebody wants to put in effort. After they left this is what this is somebody wants to put in effort after they left they want to put in the hard work and it is somebody from the past somebody from the past wants there's that fucking hangman this time he's reversed he's <coughs> getting ready to face the real the struggle looks like he's he's just about ready to step down and make that decision to Reconnect. Oh, God. So, yeah, somebody wants to put in effort because now they want to put in effort to the relationship that has been lost because they can't really be healthy and whole without this partner that they wish for somebody is wishing for a reconnect reconnection from their past and they're afraid of being rejected and they there's there's good reason to be afraid because whoever it is that they left high and dry has their guard up and there's probably a pack of wolves in there or a loaded gun. The past wants to come back. 
And today is the day where somebody could receive that communication. It comes through harshly because this person has their guard up. This person is feeling like they need to defend themselves. This person knows what they did was wrong. They do. They do. And now they appreciate what they had. And they want another chance. And it looks as though they're about ready to face the struggle that they have tried to escape from for quite some time. It's like I have been so scared. Somebody has been so scared to communicate for one, because of pride and ego, and for two, because of rejection, which all fall along the same line. And now they want to put in effort when they didn't put in effort into love before. They put in effort into everything else but love. And now they want, to, they want their wish fulfillment. They want their happiness. They want their abundance and love back that they used to have. Because all this, whatever they got, Whatever they got didn't bring them the true security that they thought it was going to bring. So yeah, I see that there's an opportunity for a message, a message to, from your past, a message to come through from your past, from somebody that really brought you down and now they're down and now they appreciate what you did for them so yeah I feel like today is, is a day of re receiving some sort of communication that is uncomfortable it's uncomfortable it is because there's some sort of animosity here that needs to be dealt with. There absolutely is some animosity. And somebody is going to need to find the strength and the willpower and the courage. To listen. And communicate. Both people. To really, really communicate. There's an opportunity to communicate and work some things out but there's going to need to be let go of the ego it's not about winning it's not about proving yourself anymore it's about happiness it's about commitment it's about Wish fulfillment, right? True wish fulfillment. Somebody wants another chance. Somebody from the past. That's what, that's what December 1st is about. You may receive some, some, some sort of communication that comes in that is kind of harsh. It's kind of a harsh message. message. It's kind of like... They may say say it the wrong way. They may they may start it out the wrong way, you know, because they're defensive and they, who knows why, you know, people act in weird ways when they're scared. So we have somebody that is probably fearful, and they might come across the wrong way, but in all reality, they want some sort of reconciliation. So. I feel like December 1st is a day of <sighs> reconnecting with somebody from your past that has probably hurt you in the past. They really, really hurt you. But now they want to put in effort. Good luck. I'm going to do another one. I don't know who this reading is for, but this is like somebody from the past sending you communication that they want to put in effort. That's what this is. And you've, you're like, 
you know, <laughs> I'm not sure. I I really don't know. You better you better start talking, and uh, we'll talk right from here because I'm not gonna let you in until you come clean. And I mean clean. So yeah, that's what today is about. But I'm going to do another one with a different deck and see what comes up. There's a reconnection from the past for some of you. This person hasn't communicated for some time. They may just be deciding to remove that obstacle of mental turmoil and cut themselves free. Get up and head in your direction. They've been divinely guided to do so. Maybe they're going to start listening. If they do it, if they actually do it, then you know that they're listening, and that's a plus. You may want to listen to what they have to say. If they're listening to their intuition, if they're listening to the spirits, then they've grown right they've woken up you might want to give them a chance you know if they're really putting in effort and they're really listening to their intuition you know and they're coming you know with some sort of communication they're putting in effort I mean that's a plus right it is so you know it's up to you whatever you do but there's an opportunity another eight 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 eight, eight. the time is now Go for it. Eights. Go for it. Go for it. So if somebody is probably going to receive communication from somebody that they've been wishing for to communicate with them. This person hasn't communicated because they've been stuck. Now they're going to communicate because they're listening. They've been divinely guided to do so. You may want to just give them a chance. Just give them a chance. Just at least listen to them, right? If they're listening to their spirit, if they're listening to their inner guide, if they're listening to whoever's talking to them, then hey, they're putting in effort. You might want to, you know, this is a work together. This is compromise. So, you know, there's an opportunity to work together if you want it, if you want it. Good luck. I'm doing another one now.